solves a problem. My eyes see, my ears hear, my mouth speaks, my mind thinks, my hands reach, my feet walk. Lawyers serve um, legal, they solve legal problems. Mothers solve emotional problems. Preachers solve spiritual problems. The fact that you are alive and on this earth is proof that God saw a problem that no one could solve but you. Look at your neighbor and tell him you were put here to solve somebody's problem. Your assignment is always the problem God has designed you to solve for somebody else. That's your assignment. You're put on this earth with the ability to solve a problem for somebody. You don't choose it, you recognize it. You don't decide who you are, you discern who God has made you to be. Turtles don't talk and trees don't fly. Your assignment is not your decision. Look at your neighbor and tell them, your assignment is not your decision. Listen to me. Listen. It's your discovery. How you are designed and how God placed you on this earth, not necessarily what you have taken on all the time. Come on, somebody. How many know that you hang out in the wrong kind of atmosphere and you get the wrong kind of stuff? How many know if you hang out in a religious joint, you might become religious? How many know if you hang out with judgmental people, you might become judgmental? How many know if you hang out with sinful people, you might become sinful? But that's not what God created you to be. You do not look on the outside and the surrounding part of you and the, the atmosphere to find your purpose. You look at the design of who you are. What do you mean? What you hate may be a clue to your assignment. Why did Moses become so angry when he saw the Israelite physically beaten by the Egyptian? You know why he did? Because Moses was designed to be a deliverer. Love is also a path and a clue to a hidden gift. What do you think about? What do you sit around and think about? What do you have a desire to learn about? If you'll pay attention to what you love, what you love may be a clue to your assignment. What brings joy through love? What you love, you will spend time with. What you love reveals your assignment. What makes you sad is a clue to your assignment. What have you weeped over lately? What have you seen that has moved your spirit? Have you seen racism? And it just makes you so sad, you just weep. Have you seen someone in a, an addiction and a bondage? Have you seen a fatherless child? Have you seen a motherless child? Have you seen someone that's losing their family? Have you seen that lately and it began to make you weep? What makes you sad and makes you weep could be revealing an assignment to help someone change or be healed. Make your assignment your obsession. Your assignment on this earth when you really understand that it's what God puts you on this planet to do, it will become your obsession.